Hi guys, how are you all doing? So today I'm going to be talking about Genie Lightweight IDE and let's get started. So I'm going to install the IDE using Software Manager. So I go in there and I search for Genie and there I click on that and then just click on install. And then once it's installed, I'll just launch it. And there I have my Genie ID. And I'm going to be talking a bit more in detail about Genie. And I'm going to covering be covering through some plugins and some of the features that this ID has. So let me first um, pin this to my panel. And I'm installing this in Linux Mint. So let's go in first and install some of the plugins. So I go back into the Software Manager and then I search for Genie again and then it will give me a list of plugins and let's install Genie plugins so this Genie plugins is a meta package which installs a number of plugins let's close that and let's open Genie so once you have Genie open, you can go into Tools and you go, in, go into Plugin Manager and you can see a number of plugins that are available over here and you can enable or disable the plugins as you wish. So I'm going to talk about some of the most used plugins later in this video. So let me close that. So now that we have the plugins installed, I'm going to talk about how we can change the theme of Genie IDE. So let's get into that. So in order to install genie themes you need to go to the github uh, repository and download the themes so uh, let me open the browser and go to github to download the themes so all I do here is just download a zip file and there have I have the themes downloaded so let's have a look at that So I already have it downloaded earlier. So in order to install the themes, I just need to copy all the conf files which are present in the color schemes here and place it into the config of where the genie config is available. So I'll show you that in a minute. So I just copy all of this and then I go into my home folder. That's where the genie config is available. Go into dot config and then genie and then color schemes and then I paste all the conf files over here and I just replace with whatever I have and that makes all the schemes all the themes installed now in order to change the theme I just open genie then I go to view and then I go to change color scheme and then from here I can sel select the scheme that I want so you can see all the different kinds of schemes that are available let's proceed to look at some of the plugins that are now available so I'm going to some uh, cover some of the important plugins. So you go to Tools, then go to Plugin Manager. And I'm going to enable some of the plugins uh, that I think are some of the really good ones. So one of them is XML Pretty Print. It from formats the XML. Then we have File Browser. It's already enabled. Then we have the Workbench. enable that one then I have Lipsum then I have HTML replacement and that's already enabled and the uh, last one I want to show you is the git change bar So let's have a look at these plugins. So these plugins, was, once they are enabled, they are going to be available here. Let's proceed with the pretty print XML. So I'm going to copy some sample XML into my Genie IDE. So let me copy one of the sample XMLs. And as you can see, this XML is not formatted. So I can just use my plugin, go to tools, go to pretty print XML and that there you have it 
formatted correctly. So let's have a lo look at the next one, which is the file browser. So you can see over here, the files tab over here will actually allow you to browse for the files. So I'm currently in my home directory and I can go in and see where I want to go and open the files as I need. The next one is a workbench plugin, which is also available as a tab, tab over here. So I can create a new workbench by going into tools and then going into workbench and selecting new. And then a workbench is named as Genie WB extension. So I'll just save it here. And then I can add a project using the context menu. So add a project, save project. I can do all sorts of operations. And the project file is basically a Genie file. And this allows us to easily manage projects inside Genie. The next plugin that I'm going to show you is the Lipsum plugin. So there may be cases where you want to actually add uh, there may be cases where you want to add some sample text. So you can simply do that by going into Tools and Lipsum, and you just enter the amount of text characters that you need to add, and just click OK, and that'll do it for you. There you go. The next plugin that I'm going to show you is the HTML replacement. So with the HTML replacement, you can replace some of the special characters, uh, which you will need to use when you're writing HTML. Uh, so all you need to do is select, I have some special characters here. So all you need to is do is just select them, go to tools, HTML replacement, and you can replace special characters in selection. And that will actually convert them to the ampersand code that belongs to that character. The next plugin that I'm going to show you is the git change bar. So as an example, I have a git repository initialized locally on my machine. So I'm just going to go to files and then it's available in my test folder. So I'm just going to open one of those files. And basically the plugin will track the changes that you do to a file. It will highlight the uncommitted changes. So if I just open one of the other files and I just go down this is a test and you can see that any of the uncommitted changes that I have made is highlighted in green here over here. So that's how this plugin works. So that's all for this video and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching.